am Barbara McKenzie and I head up IS Operations and Infrastructure for Sydney Adventist Hospital from Sydney, Australia. So we recently adopted vSAN, so I'm going to talk about our hyperconverged experience. We uh, adopted VDI for um, our desktop solution about 10 years ago and we have a single KPI for delivery which is clinical data accessed in five seconds. So throughout the last decade as new back-end technologies have come to market we're always investing in the, the host end of the VDI. So five years ago we went to an all flash array and two years ago we went to the vSAN hyperconverged. Um, at that point in time we doubled the density of our uh, desktops per host and for the first time ever I could demonstrate a significantly lower TCO for a VDI desktop versus a rich or a fat client. For my organisation the most valuable features of vSAN are actually a few. The first one, important to me in my role, is cost. It was in the renewal cycle for storage, about a 40% uh, saving compared to uh, going to an all flash array, which was what we first looked at doing. Secondly, performance, of course, um, our clinical data access in five seconds, we need to do everything we can to retain that metric. And then thirdly, I was really pleasantly surprised during the data migration across to vSAN that it happened like almost instantly whereas in the past migrating from array to array is an arduous and kind of fraught process. Stability on vSAN has been 100%. As part of the implementation process the VMware customer success team for vSAN assisted us so we actually retrofitted hard disk into our own existing hosts and they went through a process of review and remediation in order for us to get all the green ticks. So we went through that process in advance of putting it into production for our data centre which we did this year and so there was absolutely no problems from that perspective. Talking about scalability, the real value is for the first time I can just build it out one host at a time. Uh, over the years, I'm sure everyone's experienced hitting the wall on their array where the backplane's too old or the technology's changed and you're up for a large sum of money in one hit. So the actual repeatable and, I guess, known quantity of what the cost to increase the storage is is, a real, is, is very valuable as well. Room for improvement could be in the planning stage of going to hyperconverged, and this is a big ask, some modeling tools or guidance on how to work out the optimal things like core size, amount of uh, RAM that you're running versus the licensing cost you're up for with say Microsoft Data Center versus the number of hosts you're going to run and have to license for vSAN. It's sort of quite a complex equation and it's really difficult to work out in advance of implementing the solution whether you've got it right. So that kind of creates some uncertainty around the total cost of ownership. On a, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 9 and it's probably because I can't give, bring myself to give a 10 um, for anything really in case it could be improved.